Hello everybody, this is Brandon with ExpeditiousFool.com, putting mindfulness in motion here with your Lightworkers card pool. And today we have Strength. Why don't you look at that for a second? So with this, this card, um, it's definitely indicating, you know, a period of strength. It's also um, speaking out to me um, to mention how to gain an inexhaustible version of strength. You see that uh, infinity sign above her head first and foremost thing is to serve others when we serve others we get this boost and this is even scientific we get this boost of what's called serotonin it's one of the happy chemicals now that particular happy chemical only comes about when we serve others when we do things for others selflessly when we're not expecting something in return we just are doing and that gives us serotonin that chemical then sets us up for all kinds of happiness that last a long time dopamine which we get from like little quick hits and things like that um, that stays but it only stays really quick times so then we have to keep building up and building up and a lot of times we're chasing that dopamine rush we're chasing that dopamine rush um, whenever we start to feel sad we start to feel um, down angry anything like that uncomfortable because we haven't taken the daily um, practice to sit with ourselves sit with our emotions and actually be okay with ourselves so we chase that dopamine to kind of distract us and change it whereas if we want lasting what we can do and and if you want to distract yourself what better way to distract yourself than going out and helping others that will then give you serotonin that's going to last a little bit longer that's going to give you better more um, compassionate ideas to further help others maybe it'll inspire you to start your daily practice and stick to it right when you stick to your daily practice of course that's going to give you more energy in your body your system is going to make you feel better but on top of that it's also on a long enough timeline going to tap you in to a full surrender to source when you do that that is when you see those healers out there that just have that power. They don't get as tired as the other ones. They don't get as weak as the other ones. They don't have to ground as much, right? It's because those healers have a different understanding. Those healers have went down and they have their power, yes, but then they've tapped into another power. Everyone who truly understands Reiki, there's a lot of Reiki practitioners out there, very few that truly understand, very few that have a daily practice, right? Um, that is bringing that life force energy into it. That's tapping into that source, that inexhaustible source of light around you. That's the advice I have for you all today. I hope this helps. Go out there, stay mindful, have a great day on purpose. If you want a session with me, tarot, breathwork, meditation, anything like that, send me a DM. We'll get you scheduled right away. Thank you.